This is part two. <laughs> no, dude, the thing went in. I hope you never like, use that, right? No, I definitely have used it. That's hot. Let me see. What do y'all think about Kristen bashing y'all's moms? Oh. I hate it. This is part two. Dev's gonna be answering some questions. Or... Bruh! Just get it right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I <have> <laughs> oh wait, is that yours? <laughs> no way, he just put that. Is in my that mouth. yours? Cut! No! Cut! I just started reminiscing. This is part two. Dev is gonna be asking us questions this time. This time we're gonna put him in it. We want everybody to know who Dev is. That way, if anybody tries to kill us, they're killing him too. So. <laughs> or if they try to <laughs> roast him, they can roast him. They're gonna roast. <laughs> yeah, go roast him. Anyways, all right, go ahead. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. We're straight to the dick. Straight. Let's go. Uh, straight to the. Okay. Um. Wait one second. First question is: People want to know a little bit more about y'all. I'm 21 years old. I've been doing social media since I was since 2019, and I've also been doing OnlyFans since I was 2020. So that's pretty been been my life. And I've been traveling a lot. I grew up had a rough childhood. Lots of shit to go through. Um. Never was spoon fed in my life. Wish I was, but wish I also wasn't. Uh, wrestled when I was in high school and graduated high school also. And love my friends and my mom, stepdad, my grandma, my brothers, and my that's it. That's well. That's pretty much my life. My name is Thomas Connor Jung. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Thomas. <laughs> Well, no, my everybody knows Thomas. me as Connor, but my real name is Thomas, so I go by his, so his Thomas, name. get your ass to the sperm right now. This you is remind James. Me, you remind me of the Thomas the Choo Choo train from whenever yeah, I Yeah, I got bullied for that in school. I grew up in Savannah, Georgia my whole life. Um, bro, can I talk? I didn't make fun of you. I'm from Savannah, Georgia. I did social media all my life, and I joked off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I played baseball my whole life. I enjoy hunting. Um, I was never spoon-fed. Well, here and there, my dad really wanted me to get it on my own, but my dad himself got it on his own. Uh, he grew up with a rough life and took care of his family, and he's taking care of us now. He busted his ass to get where he's at, and he's just trying to make me, you know, do the same thing. So everything I have, I pay for myself. Um, I enjoy traveling. I've been doing social media since, I want to say, 2019. Uh, I have two golden retrievers. I blew up off of them doing TikTok. And then some crazy bitch ruined my life. So, yeah. Imagine blowing off your dogs for social media. That's crazy. Blowing up off of them? Blowing up off of them, my bad. Question two. What do y'all think about Kristen bashing y'all's moms? I hate oh. it. Never spoke, I've never spoken bad about uh, Kristen's mom. Uh, never would. She's a sweet lady. Um, same with her, her father. He was, he was dope to me. He was, treated me well. Never give me any type of weird vibes, so yeah, I don't know. I but found it disrespectful. I, under I understand my mom, like her, not under her, understand her disrespecting my mom, but my mom, like talking to her because she makes comments about my mom. I was just like, no, nah, what? But that's fine. My mom maybe might have got a little bit too into the comment section, though. I can't, I can't say she didn't. She did get a little, I have to delete some of them sometimes because she'd be getting too invested, but she's also like very protective over me. But sometimes it's just too much. But other than that, I wouldn't trade her for anything. That's it. I protect my, my my daughter too, or my son, whatever. Oh, like the only reason I say this is because my mom never disliked her. My mom more so just had boundaries and Kristen didn't really respect my mom's boundaries. And what really made my mom mad is the fact that she could have a heart to heart conversation with her and be crying on the phone with her and then like, you know, like my mom's biggest thing was instead of us doing OnlyFans and stuff like that, she wanted us to create a YouTube together and, you know, do like a boyfriend, girlfriend content or like even like just me and my friends, like just do content like that and start my own clothing line, which that's what I'm doing now is trying to build my YouTube and start a clothing line because, you know, it's good money. It's fun. I get to travel and hang out with everybody and still do what I love. Um... But like I said, the biggest thing was my mom never did anything bad. Kristen just took my mom's boundaries as disrespect. And it wasn't. It's just like 
simple things that she said that made Kristen feel some type of way. But obviously if she felt some type of way, it like she understood what my mom was saying, but obviously it never changed her. But what I was trying to get at as well, every time that my mom talked to her and had those FaceTime conversations, less than 30 minutes later, she made a video or she would make a TikTok or something, basically like disregarding whatever my mom was already telling her. So it's like, it didn't even add up or make any sense, so. But then again, Kristen is a grown ass woman and she will do what she wants, no matter of what her boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the hell she wants to be at the time of the day, um, tells her. So regardless, she can do what she wants. She's hard headed, just like most other young people. And we but love she, Kristen's family as well. I have nothing against them. They never did anything bad to me. So yeah, no. all love you guys. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Put your damn daughter on a leash. Bingo. People also wanted to know if Colby and Kristen ever got along. <clears throat> no. Why? <laughs> no. Nah, I don't know. Colby never really liked her because she understood that Kristen wasn't right for me. Colby, if you see this, I'm in love with you. So Colby, Colby understood the assignment from from the rip, no cap. She understood that Kristen wasn't right for me. She knew that that girl was just breaking my heart. And, you know, as much as me and her hate each other, we love each other. But she was just looking out for me, and as I would do for her. Um, I wouldn't let nobody disrespect her, and they did. I mean, I would do something about it. <laughs> You're going to die, dude. You're going to die. You're gonna die. I, I don't know. I just think the way that we were raised, Kobe's never been like the going out, like going crazy, wilding out type girl. So she definitely saw Kristen as being different and didn't really like that. She but now she goes be, out. She goes out. Goes she crazy. don't do nothing like crazy. But she's not like a slut. So yeah, she's not a hoe. So no, that's good. I'm glad I don't really have to worry about her too much. How do you feel about Kristen doing other things with other people while y'all were dating? That was another thing that bothered me the most is she would always be making out with other girls and stuff like, yeah, that might be like hot and cool, like the cool shit on social media. But like in real life, that's just disrespectful. Like be like me, like obviously I'm not going to walk up to another guy and do it, but what it'd be like me walking up to another girl, just making out with her right in her face. It's like, why are you doing that? Um, you know, I never really liked it. She'd always make out with Whitney and then like random people in the bar, like, Honestly, I don't know how she hasn't gotten something yet. Well, I, I say that now, but. <laughs> well, what about the whenever y'all were dating? She yeah. We were dating and I didn't know it. You got, you can't, you got to cut that. Why? It's just bad. Kissing other girls is equivalent to you kissing other girls. I kiss you right now. Like, huh? Uh -uh. I mean, that's just how I see it. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, it's weird. Especially in being in, like, a strong, healthy relationship. Like, I don't feel like that's, like, okay. It's only weird if, like, the girl ain't coming home back home with y'all. Like, what? Like, come on. Let me, like, like have three's a party, y'all. So if you're you going to kiss her right in front of me, all right. I what? like that shit, too. What's good? I'll kiss both of y'all. Shit. I think that's just that's how rocky. it goes. That's but, rocky like, thoughts. Yeah, but you got Connor. Connor's, like... Oh, dog, he's gonna catch a broken jaw yeah, by the end of the night. <laughs> he's about to get his shit See, hit. Still up. Next question. How often did she shower when y'all were both with her? <laughs> Only when we took showers. <laughs> when I told Me and her, Rocky discussed this question earlier. <laughs> when I, when I t Whenever we took a shower, when she'd I take told a shower. Her to go Only shower with me. We'd have to beg her, too. <laughs> to shower. I would just tell her, let's go shower. Or if it, like, stank, I just. So I'd like I'd nut real quick and I'd go in the bathroom and, and just, shower. <laughs> I went to shower. I literally I grabbed the hand soap off the kids like the, the oh, bathroom hell no. counter, I'd get in the shower. wet that thing real quick, look at my hand with all this oh, white God. whatever the fuck it was. And then I'd, I'd like clean it all oh, off and then do it again. I just dry it off with her freaking mouth towel for her toothbrush, look her tooth. <laughs> And then, yeah. What? I'm like yeah, <laughs> you gonna make me push through this pain? You're gonna push through this fucking thing. And like, but like, We're doing I don't, this together. Like, I know I talk about like, like stink and like shit like that all the time. Like, it's funny to me, like funny to like guys and shit. But like, this when it comes serious. to females, like, do you not like girls do not smell that? Like, there's no shot they don't smell like a a stench coming from their coochie lips. <laughs> the girls have to be able to smell that. Like, there's no way girls can't smell that stench coming from you know where. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I just opened up a fresh can of tuna and. That honestly smelled better. 
No, but it's not just her. It's I promise you, it's not just her, y'all. Oh uh, yeah, it's not. I've been with three other girls um, in my lifetime that, like, I've had the same problem with, and like, except the white stuff. Like it's, it's just like girls don't smell that. Like what? And it's not us dudes throwing off their pH balance because I've went months without having sex with a female, and I just do it and I do it once and I do it again, like my sneaky link up in Nashville, and that I just it would just stink and I'm like bro there's not me there's no way it's me I'm not getting around like I'm not I'm not the one giving her UTIs I'm not the one throwing off her pH balance but there's yeah. not a way to tell a girl to there there's not a way like I don't care what anybody says there's not a way to tell a girl did she blame a stinks. UTI on you are we done with this question yes can this question be done alright next question everyone's asking if she was verbally physically or emotionally abusive towards y'all any of y'all have you she maxed me, bro. Well, she smacked me one time. She smacked me in Nashville because I told her I was talking shit to Whitney. But Whitney started this shit talking, like, body shaming me. Body shaming. I can care. You can't body shame me, honestly. I work on my body every day to not be insecure about it. Like, you can't body shame me and it get to me. But if you body shame me, I'm going to body shame you right back. If you don't like it, then don't body shame me first. Don't but, talk yeah. about you in general. Yeah, well, just don't talk shit, bro. Talk, you got your feelings hurt. It didn't hurt my feelings that she smacked me. I was like, if you were, if it was the other way around, I smacked her. What the hell would you, what the hell would happen? I'd be in jail or be getting canceled for smacking another female. And my mom would whoop my ass. I ain't gonna lie. The way I see it is like she was very narcissistic towards me, and like, and she always told people that I was like the narcissist, or she was always the victim. Da da da. da. Like, I always did the wrong. Like, it was always her, bro. Like. I never really even did that. I just kept to myself. Like, the whole relationship, I was really to myself. I didn't do anything. I really was, like, just going to the gym. Like, me, Rocky, and all the boys. Like, we went to the gym every day. I came home. Hell no. Nah. We went to the gym every day. I got tropical smoothie with Jay Sauce. Went straight back home. Did the dishes. Uh, took a shower. And then we all went and did something together. Like, it was never, like, anything crazy. And no matter what, even when I was home, all that was literally all I did. Like, was gym, sleep chill like go live or make tiktoks or youtube videos or something like i don't know i was always being productive she would always make it out to be on social media like tiktok she would always make a video whenever she was mad at me or did something like i was always in the wrong she'd make a video for it she'd always be like oh you know i don't know just some petty shit as usual and yeah i mean she I very, hated that shit she was always very abusive to me mentally because i'm a mental person like like mental patient no I'm not a mental patient <laughs> like I'm very emotional like inside so like I like to talk about it in person I like to talk about my feelings and, but yeah I'm an emotional person so I just like to really talk about how I feel and when I'm feeling that and if I don't it just makes me feel like I'm depressed all the time so it feels good talking about this honestly but go ahead yeah but I would have to tell Connor sometimes to like stop being so emotional cause like most people they don't care if you cry, whine, all that shit. It's just gonna get annoying to them. So like, but that was my I, way of getting it out of my chest. Like, yes, just, that's his way of doing it. But like, my way of doing it is like, dude, I, I push everybody away. Like, I don't talk to nobody when I'm mad, when I'm sad. Good luck getting a conversation out of me. I will sit there in bed all day long, and not talk to nobody. I will sit on my phone all day long, and not say a word to nobody. And that's even when I'm like just not feeling it. Like I'm just out of it. Like I'm not having a good day or I'm hungover. This question is for Connor. Text me. Have you tried to talk to anyone ever after Krista? No, I've not really tried to be with anybody. Like I don't want to be in a relationship. There's only one person that's like my high school like sweetheart type deal. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth with that because she wants her so bad. Huh? What? He's obsessed with her. What does that mean? She's a pretty girl, though. But her boyfriend catches smoke. Anyways. Not gonna talk about that. But other than her, there's really, like, no one that I want to be with. So I don't really see a point. I'd rather just sit and have fun and try to be myself. But I feel like I can't really have fun anymore because no matter who I'm with or, like, what I do, someone's always out Everything's there. Everything's someone recording. Yeah, like, someone's always recording it and someone's always making me out to be a bad person for even being with a girl. So, that's I really facts. just want to take That's why with. whatever girl that I have next, I would not, I'm not, I'm not posting her. I post with her, but, like, you won't be able to see her face. And it'd be nothing against the girl. Like, she's going to be gorgeous. You know, 
Instagram with ugly hoes. Yeah, there's no reason to post because they're just going to find every, like, they're going to pick at this girl so much in her own comment section on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, everything. They'll find this girl in everything and just bash her every looks and everything. What's Not only just her, but her entire family. Yeah. Because no, that's gonna, how it goes. They're going to, like, send death threats to her. Especially with me. I have a very strong, like, girl fan base, and they're just going to just bash her. They're I'm tweakers. like, dang. Next question's a good one, too. It says... How did you and Rocky become friends again after him hooking up with Kristen? That's a funny one. I was with Jack Wright. I was with Jack Wright and Lane. Lane pretty much brought us back together. He, Lane told us to come down to Tampa. Or was it Tampa? It was Tampa. Yeah, Lane told us to come down to Tampa. So we drove through the night. It was like 3 in the morning. I told everybody that we were coming to fight Rocky and stuff. And Rocky got really scared. And no, like, I didn't think it was for real. I thought it was just for TikTok. Nah, I pulled up. He pulled up and I ain't gonna lie, scared the fuck out of me. Because like he walked in the room like, I'm like, yo, what? And I was on live and it like freaked me out. I'm like, yo, he actually is here. That's crazy. And yeah, then like we just him. all like, we, we like didn't say nothing. And then um we all went out the room. Like we got all, everybody got off live and stuff. We started blaring music. Drinking, like having a good time, had some shorties pull up and all that, having fun, and then um crazy night. <laughs> <laughs> we went into wow. I, I pulled Carter into the into one of the rooms and uh you know slurred from a little bit and then but after that we just had like a conversation and um go ahead tell him tell him what the conversation com- I told him what the conversation uh, consists I told him like I pretty much all like the, like I. Removed him as a friend when like we were like we we're pretty pretty close. We talk like every day, and then like I like I like switched up. And I'm never like that with nobody. Like you can ask anybody I grew up with. I'm never switched up with nobody. I've never done anybody like dirty like that. Um, but yeah, I like apologized, and then I told him he could punch me in the face. I was like, I know I'd want to punch you in the face. He's like, No, I don't want to punch you in the face. But uh, yeah, he's like, he like accepted my that apology. day every time. I'm like, damn, I should have punched him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then he went and talk all that mess. And now he's mad though, because like, I'm still Hemothy. And like, he's just. I'm Hemothy Turner. He's Hemothy's son. Oh. Connor, Kristen said she quote unquote broke up with you because she lost feelings to do. Um, do you think it's because of another guy? Yes and no. I feel like because we were arguing all the time. And every time we were arguing, it was either about, like, something she did wrong. Like, her always having her tits out and stuff like that. And I always said something about it. I'm like, yo, like, I don't know how many times I can ask you. I just, like, wish you would respect me. And she would get in an argument with me about it. So, no, I, I don't know. Yes and no. Probably, because I, know I, I can't remember. I'm not going to name drop. I'm not going to name drop. But so one of her friends told me that... She wanted time apart just so she could wild out and see if she really even likes me like she thinks she does. But no, I know the actual real reason like why she actually broke up with you. What is it? It's because um, you never say, like you say some dumb stuff. <laughs> it's not even stupid. How's that stupid? I'm no, I, I, I thought you were about <laughs> my, to make some no, bull crap up. Like, so no, 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 uh, no. We're, we're, at the, we're at the B and B uh, and for Christmas or whatever, and like the night before, like they like had like, their whole talk and like all this stuff. Like, I had my shirt off, and uh, she was just kept looking at me, and I was like, damn, what's up, baby? So, like, we like we got down and dirty one night, and it was just like... Damn, right after crazy. I went home? Yeah, right after you went home. Like, You're crazy, bro. That was Hell. the reason. Like, that was the reason they like she wanted to break up with him, because like, she just like, fuck, no, I don't want him. I want I want Rocky, because, like, I heard Rocky just lays it down, and it was like, yeah, so that's a real reason. That's what happened. Are you being so for real right now? I'm so serious. Dude, what the fuck? That's so weird. I had a question on top right, of that I'm done, question I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Why question. do you think she started a hate campaign against you and false accusations? False accusations. Ooh, I, I can tell you 100% right now. Because the first time we broke up, when I was going through it, she got a bunch of hate. Like, a bunch. And it was bad. Like, it was people telling her to kill herself. And I felt bad. Like, I made posts on people like, yo, it's like not that deep. Like... Like, you can feel bad for me, you know, whatever. Like, I'm going through it, but don't, like, say nothing bad about her like that. The second time comes around, you know, we ended good, whatever. It was It was all fun and dandy. And then uh, 
I don't know, just like out of the blue. She starts texting me like, bro, you cheated on me, da 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 da. Like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, and this girl, so the first time we broke up, I was, obviously I didn't do nothing. I didn't have sex or nothing, but I was sending nudes. And then there was girls that messaged her. Like, they didn't know we broke up because obviously it wasn't like social. Nobody really knew about it yet. And then we got back together. Well, then everybody was like, oh shit, like, you know, like, whoa, like they weren't broken up, like. Or, you know, no one, no one knew what was going on type stuff. Then the second time we broke up, these girls were DMing her, sending her messages, saying that, like, I did this and that. Like, there's proof. And then she was saying that I had sex. Or she, she had a video of me having sex with another girl. Like, I haven't taken a, a video of me having sex with a girl. The last girl was her. So it was before her. Like, I only did that once, and I learned my lesson from that. Don't do that shit unless you're selling it on OnlyFans and you have Post consent. Post it. Post it. No, anyways. Tiger. But, like, all seriousness, um, yeah, that's, that's what happened with that. She basically was believing everything in her DMs, telling everybody that I did this and that and this and that, when she didn't even know, like, 100% if it was true or even the timeline was right. It was just, it was a bunch of BS, and honestly, it was stupid. Um, she could have just talked to me about it and been more sure about it, but instead decided to record the conversation, have Morgan record it, her on the phone, my mom, or with me, and it was just a whole bunch of bull crap, bro. And then uh, she said something about my mom being in the background when that recording. Yeah, my mom laughed. And then she, then she said something about my dad was going to pull up and beat their butts or something, or asses, whatever. It's weird because it's almost like my ex-boyfriend's like, Family said they were going to come to my house and beat me up. What? Done when I found out that he, um, when I, when I received videos of him, a girl in my DMs. So that's when I was done. I don't know. I really loved Connor. And after receiving a lot of things and seeing a lot of things and realizing that he's lied to me the entire relationship, a lot of my, I mean, I'm, I mean this from my bottom of heart. Like I'm in therapy. I'm on medication. I... And going through so much, and it's because of this kid, but I never realized it genuinely. Right. He was trying to say that my dad was in the background saying that we we're going to pull up and beat their ass, which is completely false. That was my buddy Trevor in the background, but she was just using a guy's voice as my dad. Uh, regardless, it was a bunch of BS, and I think it's that she did that and couldn't just have a normal conversation with me. Um, but nope, let's take everything to social media and, you know, the views, so, anything for views. I hate every time that I do something or I go out and, you know, I do stuff with my ex or something, because, like, I told her, I made it very clear, I am not getting into a relationship right now. I am not mentally stable enough to get into a, rela like, relationship. I'm not happy with my own self to support another girl or another person in general, so, but, yeah, every time I'd go and do that, or do something or mess with another girl, she would just post about it. I'm like, why are you doing this? And I'm looking like a shitty person on that social media. so aggy, bro. And um, so I was like, all right, bet. You want this? I'll do it right back. Because like, I'm a toxic. I'm petty as fuck, too. So it's like, I can do just, I can do it right back to you. And yeah, so that, that I hated that. That was so annoying. But now, like, it's just a game to me now. Like, I just, I play it. Like, I think it's funny. It's, I think it's funny. You can't, I mean, it's annoying at like most times, but um, I can I can do it now. I do it right back. It's Another just thing, hold on, while you're on that, it's a game type shit. Everybody thinks that we're like, like in this loop with Kristen, like we're doing this for views. I want to make this strictly clear. This is not for views. This is like us being so serious about what is going on. Like she needs help. Like I actually think there's like she has mental. Problems. I give a fuck. I can care less if she need. She gets. I'm help not saying like if she help. needs to go get help. I don't give a damn if she She's goes to get help. She needs help. Like really? there's something wrong. Um, we don't do this because we want the views. We do it because we're just clapping back at whatever she says. Like we don't want to look bad. You know, obviously we don't really care what we look like, but we're just trying to show our true colors that you know I'm not really the person that you make me out to be. But Rocky might be because. He'd be saying what he wants to say no matter what. Oh, I say whatever. I, I will say what's on my mind. I'll speak my chest whenever because no, nobody will ever tell me what to do or say. But I'm also not a shitty person. Like, I 
if you know me, you meet me in person, you're like, damn, this kid's like nice. He's dope. He's he takes care of people. Like yeah, he yeah. does like his own thing. He's in his own like his own walk, his own wave. I do my own shit. Like I do everything for myself and people around me. He pays his bills. His bills are paid. Nah, I stay out the whole loop usually. All right, next question. All right, the last question that I saved for last. Everyone's been asking this. Does you really smell? We kind of already talked about that, but Dog, yeah. I would pray. Oh hell no! Every time that it, I would pull it out for the first stroke and it not <clears throat> smell like a motherfucking aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>